Welcome back, dear viewers. Now we have our first guest. Uh, but first, let's talk about sailing because our guest is going to talk about to talk to us about sailing. So sailing specifically refers to the sport of using wind to power sails and propel the boat forward instead of engines. This is very interesting, Sara. It's really interesting. Yes. So our guest, uh, it has a third place silver a fleet at the ILCA, six years world championship, Austin. So second place as well at the GCC Championship in Kuwait in the first place at the U-17 at the Regatta di Carnaval Gran Canaria in Spain. What a special guest we have, dear viewers. Let's welcome with us Dr. Uh, Ahmed Ali, Ahmed al Felichawi. He is the Kuwait sailing team. So hello and good morning, dear Ali. Hi. Hello, Ali. How are you? I'm good, thank you. So, Ali, is this your first interview? Yeah. How are you feeling today? Quite happy. We're very happy that you're here and we want you to talk to us about sailing. First of all, what is the definition of sailing? Well, sailing is a water sport that can be played alone or with other people uh, or with other people in the water. And it's played by uh, using the combination of the wind yes. and the uh, sail to move the boat. Yes, that's amazing. So I'm pretty sure it has uh, too many categories uh, in this kind of a sport, isn't it? Yeah. Can you please mention each category, actually? We have many categories in sailing, but in Kuwait, we have like three categories. The first one, Optimus class. Yes. And we have laser class, and there's like inside three more classes, mm -hmm. uh, laser 4.7 and radial and standard. And we have uh, the Hopi Cat class. Oh, so it, does it has uh, like a, a certain age in each category of them? Yeah, the optic class is between, let's say, six years old until 15, and 4.7 laser, it's between 15 to till 17 years old. Yes. And about the radial and standard, they're open. They're open. Or, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so uh, Ali, uh, you, since you mentioned the categories, we were just talking about the weather, Sarah and mm -hmm. I, and we want you to tell us and the dear viewers, what are the best conditions for sailing? Well, it depends on the sailor because some sailors uh, prefer the light wind conditions and some of them prefer the windy conditions. So. Okay, yes. so you're saying that you can sail when it's very windy or you have light wind yeah but we've mentioned that sailing depends on wind so wouldn't it be better if we have more wind yeah i like i prefer to sail in windy conditions and the warm wind, uh, warm you mean warm weather yeah that's amazing so you feel more comfortable with your clothes and everything yeah while you're saying in the warm so uh let's talk now about how can i say uh, this sailor is really a qualified uh, sailor uh, let's say like a I know it's, uh, sailing is not easy, uh, so what are the skills of a good sailor, Ali? To be strong and fit and to have a good stamina and to be smart. To be smart. Yeah. Interesting. So, 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 yeah, so what about the boats, your boat, let's say, and your safety clothes? Should it have to be uh, like a spe special, specified, qualified to be like, uh, you know, a good sailor, to say this is a good sailor? Well, as I said, like to be a good sailor, mm -hmm. uh, to be good, uh, fit and strong, and uh, smart because the wind can shift a lot in the sea, yes. and uh, you have to know the uh, current directions and uh, shift also directions and uh, the waves and everything. And, and you, I think you need uh, to know the navigation rules and the nautical rules yeah. of yes. uh, the sea, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, in case of an emergency, in case of, uh, like, for, for example, look here. We can see the waves. We can tell that um, there's wind. Yeah, exactly. Can, can you please explain more about this uh, situation here? Well, now we're sailing in open sea, so we have... Uh, not similar uh, conditions as in Kuwait. Yes. Okay. More big swells and windy conditions. Mm -hmm. So where was that? In Spain. 
Okay, so that's the one when we mentioned Canaria. Yeah, Gran okay. Canaria. Tell us about that. It was a nice experience. I had a training camp there for two months. Okay. Then I participated in a small championship mm -hmm. they had. It was nice. I had a good races. That's a good thing. Also, I had a bad races, but also that's a good thing because I'm learning from my mistakes. Of yes. course. Yes. yes. And uh, can you see uh, the move? You are holding the boat in a certain um, way. What's the name of this, uh, let's say, uh, move, let's say? The, the thing? Yeah, yes, the you're thing the look the look like you are holding the boat. Uh, you are not sitting, you are not standing. Uh, yeah. It's really strange and it's really dangerous, actually. And it's a bit hard, yeah. It's a bit hard. So yeah. how actually, what's the name actually of this? Uh, it's uh, the thing that on the water, it's called the rudder uh -huh. and the, the black thing, the teller extension. Yeah, okay. Beca teller extension. Because of the waves, the big waves, you have to do such moves? Yeah, I had to, like, to move it to keep the boat flat so I don't capsize or... Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. So imagine, like, standing on the boat, uh, I will fall down, isn't it? Yeah. Wow. Oh, so you can't stand no. on the boat. You, you need have to balance. lean yeah. yes. and pull the rope or the extension, as Rope and extension, yeah. Wow. Okay, interesting. interesting. Yeah. So how do you learn how to do that? How long have you been sailing, uh, Ali? Almost, like, 10 years old. Uh, 10 years. Okay. I was sailing, like, since 8 years old. Wow. You were 8 years old when yeah. you started sailing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How did you learn the, the first uh, concept of sailing? It was easy, like we have coaches in Kuwait, they help us. It was, we have also quite a lot of sailors, mm -hmm. so we have fun in sailing. Yes. So you went to Spain. Yeah. Uh, did you go anywhere else? Yeah, I uh, went to many as countries. As we can see on the screen, that, that was uh, in Spain. In Hungary. Oh, oh that's, Hungary. that was in Hungary. Okay, yes. okay, okay. Wow. So what? how was that, like a championship there, races or...? It was a national, a Hungarian nationals. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you've been uh, participating uh, for how many races actually to, so far, or championships, let's say? More than 100. Wow, that's, that's amazing. amazing, actually. That is amazing. So let's talk now about, uh, you know, um, how actually the sail race is uh, organized. You have like certain uh, instructions before participating. We races. have rules in sailing that we follow. Also, we have judges in the water, and also okay. out the water, mm -hmm. that they see them, yes. see us. Yeah. Yes, it should be like a certain uh, age as well for uh, like participating in the championship or championships. It's about the categories only. It's about the categories. Yeah. So, uh, what? How was uh, your last race and when was actually? It was two weeks ago in Hungary. Okay. Yeah, I participated in the Hungarian Nationals. Mm -hmm. I had a good races also at the beginning. Then I had also some bad races, but yeah, I'm learning. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, bad and good. Yes, yeah. so yeah, we all learn from. Exactly. Actually, sure. this is what makes you a good uh, sailor. Yeah. Uh, you know, they always say still waters never make a good sailor. Exactly. You know, if you have to go into the sea and you have to learn. Now, uh, Ali, if you could please tell us more about the boats because I'm very interested in the boats. Uh, I know for cars, you have to have a certain car features for the races. What about the boats? Do you need certain features for the boats? Yeah, we have lots of rope systems in okay. the boat that we need them. We have the boom, the mast, the sail, the boat, the dugger boat, the rudder, the rudder extension, the hiking strap. So we have a lot of things. Okay, so these are for the uh, sailing race. Yeah. Uh, not for normal sailing, no, for example. No, for all the time. Like for everything. You for mean? everything, yeah. Yes, yes. So uh, let's talk about how actually you start love, let's say, uh, such a sport, sailing. Well, my dad was a sailor. Oh, your dad yeah. as well. Okay. Yeah. I saw him when I was a child and I loved I just tried sailing and I loved it. Yeah, and you loved it. So your yeah. dad is one, the, your first supportive person for you? Yeah. So, so yeah. That's amazing. That's yes, amazing. we're very uh, proud of you, uh, Ali, for uh, following the footsteps of uh, your dad and sailing and teaching us also about sailing. Now, I have a question. We all love the sea in Kuwait. We're very famous for loving the sports yes. uh, that, that are included in the water. Uh, but what about sailing? Do you think it's famous in Kuwait? It's not famous. Why I'm not? trying to make it famous as good as I could, but 
I hope it's become a famous sport in not only Kuwait, in the Gulf or Arab countries, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. So why do you think, uh, Fatma, you, you don't have like a huge demand on this, uh, such a sport in, in Kuwait? Why do you think uh, the reasons? Sorry? The reasons of that. Why you think that uh, you don't have uh, a lot of dem like demand on this uh, sport like in Kuwait, sailing? What are the reasons? You think because of the weather or we don't have... Uh, Maybe because, yeah, uh, the weather doesn't help us yes. a lot because it's hot here. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. So, uh, Ali, do you have uh, any last pieces of advice for our viewers who want to sail? Mm, I advise them to come and try sailing. I'm sure they will like it. Where can we come and try it? In uh, Masila Beach. Okay. Masila Beach. Okay. Yeah. Next Let's to just try it, Fatma. We should, right? We should, yes. yeah. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much, Ali, for this uh, interesting interview, and we hope to see you again in another interview. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, dear viewers, uh, we will be right back after this break. Stay tuned.